Dearly beloved, welcome to day 21 of the 2024 Lenten Talks broadcast of the Eternal Sacred Order of the Cherubim and Seraphim Essos Church. Today we will talk about hatred and selfishness, which is taken by Senior Apostle M. Olubi. We are welcome to the 21st day of this journey and uh, we'll be talking on hatred and selfishness. A test is taken from Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter number 5. We take a reading from verse 43 to 48. It reads, You have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That he may be the children of your father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. And send that rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Our Father and our God, we thank you, Lord, for this great opportunity to share your word. Take preeminence in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Teach us your word. Teach us righteousness. Give us the grace to live according to your commandments. At the end of our journey in this world, we shall not be cast away. Heaven shall be our reward. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Hatred means strong dislike, ill will, extreme disgust, resentment. When we talk about hatredness, we are saying a strong dislike in which you are praying all your prayer for that person is evil. You don't wish any good thing to get to that person. It is the root of all evil. It is the simple opposition to the love of God through sheer display of wickedness, jealousy, covetousness, murder, bewitchment, and all forms of evil. Hatred is not just mere emotions. It is a state of displaying cruelty in thoughts and in actions. Jesus knows that there is going to be hatredness on earth. That's why he has enjoined us where we read in Matthew chapter 5, 43 to 48, that we should even love our enemies. He taught us to love our enemies. Whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. First John chapter 3, verse 15. That is how grievous the sin of hatred is. We should not be like Cain who hated his brother and caused him death. Genesis chapter 4 verses 3 to 8 and it is also noted in 1 John chapter 3 verse 12. Effect of hatred. It causes strife, it breeds, breeds cruelty and anger it causes confusion, malice, disharmony among brethren. It is the source of all wickedness. It promotes war and all evils. May God save us from this sin and give us the grace to love with all our hearts. On the other hand, we are looking at selfishness. Selfishness means self-centeredness, greed lack of empathy for others, desire to have everything. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24 says, Let no man 
seek his own, but every man another's wealth. What are the effects of selfishness when you are only thinking of you? You, it is me, me and me alone. There will be mutual disrespect to that person. It makes us to be ruthless without empathy for others. That's why if you look at the world we live today, there's so much hatred in that even our leaders are ruthless to us. Even we ourselves, we are ruthless to one another. It damages our reputation. It makes us drift from God. And the last effect is that it makes us to lose eternal life. The solution, as Christ taught us, is that we must love not only in word, but also in deed and in truth. This can be also found in 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. If we love in deed and truth, the sins of hatred and selfishness will be far from us. I pray in whatever way, whatever manner, we might have come short of the grace of God by being emerged in this sin of hatred and selfishness. God, we have mercy upon us. Give us the grace to love one another. In Jesus' mighty name. prayers a father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil now in is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen Lord, Thy mercies take and I die. First for 40 days and 40 nights. Give us grace to do likewise. That we may humble our body for thy spirit and forever to fulfill thy spiritual directions. In holiness and righteousness. For thy honor and glory, thou art a with the Father and the Holy Ghost. One God, one without end. Amen. O Lord, we beseech thee to hear our prayers, asking unto all those who confess their sins 
And those whose hearts remind them of their commitments, that by thy mercy they may be forgiven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Say after me, turn thou us, O good Lord, so shall we be turned. Be favorable, O Lord, be favorable to thy people who turn to thee, in weeping, fasting, and praying. For thou art a merciful God, full of compassion, long suffering, and of great pity. Thou sparest when we deserve punishment, and in thy wrath you think it upon mercy. Spare thy people, good Lord, spare them, and let not thine heritage be brought to confusion. Hear us, O Lord, for thy mercy is great, and after the multitude of thy mercies, look upon us through thy merits and mediation of thy blessed Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Silent prayers. The blessings of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us. Grant us peace, peace in our country, peace in our church, peace wherever we go. So shall it be through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Ie. Oh, Zana. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed today's LinkedIn talk. Can you join us again tomorrow, same time on all our social media platforms at Essos Church on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and at Essos.Church on Instagram, online radio and local radio stations for an expository on impatience, wrath, and strife.